right, 1.30 in the morning in Houston, Texas. Hello everyone, I am L to the W and welcome to the vlog. If you're joining for the very first time, please consider hitting that subscribe button and please give me a like button to help support this veteran. Go ahead and share with your car enthusiasts and people who just enjoy uh, life vlog type stuff. Anyhow, I am in Houston, Texas. Uh, I took my Camaro to get dyno tuned down here yesterday and now I am on my way to New Orleans, Louisiana to compete in a half mile shootout. So we are getting up early so we can bust through all this stuff and actually make it to the dent on time. Because last night it was all bumper to bumper traffic through here, so I decided just to go ahead and hunker down here, work on the vlog that I posted for the weekend, uh oh. Now we are on our way out of here, so let's go get some coffee and hit the road. Speeds Park, and uh, this is what it looks like so far. The lineup of cars coming in. Also, a good bunch. Oh, back. Shall we see them? It's gonna be some damn fast cars here. Ooh, those well, gonna be fun. Do you already have your driver's man? I got this red. Right okay. One. You'll you'll have to go straight ahead and um. The guy up front will stop you and tell you where to get your driver packet, okay? Alright. Okay. You're almost like you want to go around you can. Okay. Right now we're in tech inspection. I guess I'm going to walk up here to the tent and check on some paperwork or something. This GTR right here behind me actually belongs to my old time good friend Steve Cook who owns Audio X up in Florence, Alabama. So if you need stereo equipment or any kind of custom work done, he is top notch. Like, you won't even know that uh, it didn't come from the factory that way. Anyway. That thing is a 200 mile an hour car. He runs like 202 and a half mile with that beast. So, looking forward to uh, catching up with him. Haven't seen him in quite a while. Uh, well, I don't know how well you can see if uh, flashing red lights down at the end of the track. There was a bad accident here. Uh, somebody lost and flipped over and over and over. So, They're pulling all the cars out of the stationery, so this isn't sounding too good. So there might not be any more racing today. So have to wait and see how this uh, plays out. Well, guys, it's noon time and the track is still closed. I've been uh, advised by somebody who was parked next to me here a minute ago that the coroner van took this little side road kind of around the track. So you can see it's behind everybody. So the coroner van went down there. Sounds like this might be a fatality. I can't confirm that. As of yet, by the time I post it, probably will be able to, but, uh, so, I'm thinking this is going to be a bus. I think I'm just going to have to call it and just go home. Like I said, by now it's noon, there's already a ton of cars in the staging lane, and I just don't think this track's safe. Some stuff I saw with the drone down at the end, it just looked very, very bumpy and rough, and it, I think it just cost somebody their life, possibly, so. Again, sorry guys, I can't bring you a, a good quarter and a half mile time, but it ain't worth wrecking the car. or had one accident this week. Uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know what I'm talking about, but I uh, think we're going to call. I think I'm going to go get my uh, lunch that I'm supposed to be paid for here and uh, go home. Woo! Good Thursday afternoon, September the 27th. How is everyone doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing great. Fantastic. Uh, if you guys have seen my HHR video, then you pretty much know why I'm glad to be here. I am uh, alive and upright and unharmed. So if you haven't seen it, uh, long story short, basically got kind of a bad wreck with the car and it's totaled. Uh, now I've watched the video for more details, but basically there was a dead deer in the road. There was a car coming the other way, so I, I didn't see it until I was on top of it. I couldn't go into that lane. I went off the shoulder, 
no sooner than I hit the shoulder, there was a mound of dirt for a brand new culvert, and it flipped the car over, and it's destroyed. So, I've been driving the beautiful SS here all week. It's been fantastic, except for it is thirsty. Look at this thing. I'm only getting 18.9 out of it. Ooh, I cannot afford to drive this car every day. So, I already have a new car picked out. Um, the dealership's holding it for me. I had to check. And uh, so Saturday, we are heading back to New Orleans, Louisiana to go pick this car up. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, it's not a Camaro or SS. It's not a muscle car. It's a good economy car, but it's pretty sporty and I like it. Um, so make sure you hit that uh, subscription button. Make sure you definitely hit that bell notification. You want to uh, be alerted every time I post something. And man, give me a thumbs up, man. I'm just a veteran, newlywed, everything car enthusiast, and crazy guy just trying to uh, vlog about life because it is crazy, man. I mean, here I am. I get up, kiss the wife, and next thing I know, I'm upside down in the ditch. And now I'm buying another car. I mean, you just never know, man. You know, it's like my first wife had an accident and uh, she succumbed from her injuries. I mean, it's just life is short and precious, man. You, you know, you just got, you got to live. You got to enjoy every moment and just live your life and, and do your own thing, man. That's all I can say. So, anyhow, man, did you guys see the other two videos I posted? Uh, Friday, I took off from work, headed to Houston, Texas, got the Camaro Dino tune. Oh, man, damn near 600 horsepower. Probably would have hit around 600, uh, but it was extremely humid. If you saw the video, we had some uh, rain that day, and the sun popped up, and it was like just nasty, bomby out. So, definitely it's going to affect the boost of the car's performance, but still pretty close to 600 on a Mustang Dino. And then we headed over to Louisiana, or New Orleans, same thing. Uh, New Orleans in Louisiana <laughs> to do the half mile shootout which unfortunately didn't happen uh, the 6th or 7th uh, run in a Mr. Hagman driving a Nissan GTR had a bad accident there at the end and uh, he succumbed to his injuries unfortunately so uh, my sincere heartfelt condolences to the wife and uh, children of this man uh, I know your pain. I know what you're going through. Um, it's not a pleasant thing at all. And uh, I, I do feel for you. Uh, that's all I can say. I don't know if you ever even watch this video. But if you do, uh, my heart does go out to you. Because I do know the suffering and stuff that you're going to go through. And everybody's going to tell you it'll get better. And I know for me, I got sick and tired of hearing it. But it will get better. Uh, you know, for me, I just... I didn't have much support, and uh, I, I decided to get back in the dating game. You know, some people got mad about it, but I met a great woman. Had I not decided to when I did, I would not have met the woman that's now my uh, wife. So, um, I guess I lucked out. Maybe God directed me in the right path, but that's what happened. So, anyhow, man, hopefully you guys watched those videos. Let me know what you thought of them. Um, it is freaking raining, so I'm going to end the vlog here. I think the next time I get back on, we're going to be going to New Orleans in a rental car to go pick the new one up. And I'll talk more about my decisions about uh, what we're doing, trading in, not trading in, and uh, stuff I've been thinking about anyhow, and, and like my commute and why I have to go this route. So anyhow, let me get to driving. It's starting to get nasty, but uh, I was, real quick, one of the you know neat features nobody talks about in the SS is it has a sensor up here that detects rain so the car can go from intermittent to full speed all on its own. I mean, that's a great feature. And, you know, it's something that nobody really talks about. And I never really dealt with it because I never really try to drive my cars in the rain. So, great feature of the SS, man. This is just a terrific car for the price point. There's so much great stuff in this car, man. I mean, man, if you got any interest, man, these these things are just freaking awesome cars. But anyhow, let me go. I talk too much, and I know nobody wants to hear me ramble. So, like I say, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, the bell notification, and give me a thumbs up while you're at it. It's all free of charge, no cost involved. And uh, check out the uh, new car here that I'll be purchasing soon. And we'll catch you on the next video. Appreciate you watching, and thank you everyone for subscribing.